What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about SoundHound. I want to go over some of the current data points, break it down on what's really been coming out associated to the company, and go over everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And with that, let's get right to it. So right now, it is down 9.73%. So the second consecutive sell-off, it was down about 15% yesterday. Market's been open 15 minutes. 10.21 million shares have been traded. 106.78 is the average. So today, most likely will be another very heavy volume day at the same time though you don't have any news no sec filings really coming out last sec filings were on the 19th and that was two 144s so institutions and insider selling has been one very common thing with soundhound i have brought this up clearly a lot of people don't necessarily care or like that but some analysts are starting to take notice so as you can kind of see based on this chart it looks like a lot of selling typically always happens at the peaks never at the bottom with the exception of this one right here who is a independent director but aside from that though this is a very big red flag if you ask me but aside from that though you do have this that kind of is influencing the price so soundhound did get a new rating and that was as of yesterday four dollars and ninety cent price target a sell downgrade by Cantor Fitzgerald Brett, who does have a 44% success rating. So that is obviously causing a lot of fear uh, within the stock. And of course, nobody wants to hear that there's potential downside with momentum plays. So all in all, that's really influencing it aside from the technicals. While I'm on here, I just wanted to kind of bring this up. So SoundHound does look like the SEC rule 201, aka the uptick rule has been activated. So that does mean anytime a stock is trending below more than 10%, shorts can't increase their position so that could really stand to help the company uh, a little bit because shorts have been starting to get into it a lot more over the last little bit so I'll give you a quick overview of that so right now 14.6 percent of the free flow is being shorted it is no longer on the threshold list so that big spike up that did happen caused it to get to around 850 a couple days back that was clearly just shorts returning a lot of their shares 39.06 million shares overall are still short it though cost of our average is relatively high so 164.02 percent and the max being 287 utilization is 97.96 so in theory yes this is still a squeeze play a lot of the fundamentals kind of point to that the only thing it does need as i've said time and time again is a good catalyst and they did put out some good news that obviously caused some institutions and retail to get back in so that news came out on march the 18th but aside from that though they have been been relatively quiet so let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below as far as options a lot of money has still been getting into soundhound so as of right now within the first about 20 something minutes seven hundred and fifty eight thousand dollars in calls being purchased versus eight hundred and eighty seven inputs sentiment wise a 56 percent of all the options are bearish today so people are clearly anticipating a little bit more of a further downtrend right now of the call options that are being purchased there's a consensus for it to be above 650 and then looking at this at the puts it is anticipated to be sub six dollars and when it comes down to options you do have a lot in the open interest around the eight dollar strike price and maybe around the seven as well if you want to consider the four thousand but still once you do have those big artificial walls market makers will not want those exercised so they will obviously in turn just short it just to kind of keep the price artificially low so of course that could be something that does happen today so you might see it purposefully staying below $7 because it seems to be recovering slightly right now, um, but we'll just have to wait and see what does happen. As of right now, these are some of the transactions that have occurred so far in the secondary market. So big money still is looking at SoundHound and a lot of them are buying the dip. So you do see 11.4, 2.14 million. But aside from that though, like I said, the technicals are just kind of pointing to it trending down. Dark pool very much active over the last little bit. So dark pool is used by shorts and large institutions. So these are all the recent transactions that have occurred. So there is a ton, always more than 250 on a daily basis. So 
Very interesting stuff, so a lot of shorts are trying to hide a lot of their shares behind the scenes. But moving on though, I have really brought up time and time again the technicals. That has played one of the biggest factors in either SoundHound's success or failure. Like It's really been easy to predict. And so far, for those of you that have been watching my channel, like it has followed it to a T. So right now with it at $6.11, it is simply between this pivot and this R1. So $5.65 will be that next strong support. And then $8.05 is that next strong resistance. It has really failed to stay above that 805. Um, of course, the recent analyst rating didn't really help all that much, but still right now it just has to stay above this pivot point right here because if it does fail to do that, then it will continue to trend down back into where it was uh, on the previous trough. So all in all, technicals are somewhat neutral for today. I don't anticipate either of them getting broken because there's nothing really coming out today to really disrupt the broader market further than what it is. But in my opinion, in order for it to get above this R1, you need to rely on the company and the company to put out some substantial news. And that's something that they have not been doing. Rather, it looks like they have just been selling. So that's been something that bothers me. Like I said, people seem to not really care about this, but this is a very big red flag because this, if this was to happen with any other large company such as Apple or Tesla, the market would be screaming and panicking because that is legitimately a very big red flag. If they did truly believe in SoundHound, a lot of their insiders, they would be buying. But if anything, their CEO, CTO, COO, CFO, like a lot of directors and independent directors are all selling. So that, in my opinion, is just one of the biggest things that has hurt SoundHound so much. But then again, what do I know? Um, today, though, it did transition from the higher to the lower percentile of the boiling band. Looking at stochastic, though, you do see a bearish deviation starting to form. So red line above the white. And as of right now, it is at 42. So somewhat neutral, not really considered overbought, not oversold or anything like that. A number of retail investors are slightly getting out, but for the most part, maintaining itself. So today, big money is somewhat buying the dip as what is uh, looks like retail as well. So let me know your thoughts. Have you been buying SoundHound? Do you think it's going to go back to the $8, 12 or what's your thoughts on SoundHound in the short term? And potentially... Why? Is it because of the recent news that did come out? Is that why you're more excited about this company? Or is it essentially just because it's a AI momentum play? What's your thoughts? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And make sure you guys take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for an account with Moomoo through $100 at it and you get five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. So take advantage of this. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.